I'm a tone chaser. That thing you hear in your head that you just can't quite get. Dreams? Uh, that's the one song that uh, Mick Jones helped, helped produce. Mm -hmm. Because Warner Brothers didn't trust us to produce 5150 on our own. So we had a surrogate producer who all they had to do was check. I mean, they were on Atlantic, which is part of WIA. Mm -hmm. He was on the road while we were doing the record. <laughs> and we said, yeah, next year producing. <laughs> so, you know, I produced Sammy, Sammy's vocal. vocal mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Don and I, sound-wise, whatever, you know, and we, we were all involved. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the band basically produced it. Think about that in contrast. Something like I mean, it's such a difference. And, 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 and you're it's... talking about this this beautiful mel medley, melody and, and yeah. compared to this rock and right, right. Which, which, I, which I think is what Sammy. I mean, Sammy's sense of obviously a vocal melody is was way different than Dave's. Yes, sure. And Ed, you know, kind of felt that in the music and yeah, the solos and those little lines he was playing. Uh, when it's love? When it's love, uh, it just kind of came to me, you know, I was in a, in a keyboard writing mode and, and uh, I wrote that, Mine All Mine, I think, uh, same day. Hmm. Which kind of stretches things again a little bit, you think? Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, uh, in the similar vein of, yeah. of, you know, very keyboard oriented, although they do have some rockers on, on OE8 one too, certainly. But more, you know, the, the bigger, the songs that are more rotation are certainly the more of the keyboard oriented yeah. and uh, more focused on, on melody and, and song and not worry so much about, you know, he's got nothing to prove at this point. He can just play yeah. what he loves and yeah, yeah. so he's really focused on playing the piano, I think. Definitely the not the keyboards. Yeah. Keyboards, yeah. So, so was, that, was that a conscious thing for you guys not to want to, for, for Fan Halen, not to want to play any Sammy stuff? Um, I, for me, there's you know there's Van Halen and there's Van Hagar. Yeah, you know, okay, we, we that's fair enough. Halen, you know hey, hey, I mean? your band, you can play whatever you want, but that's yeah. that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah, we have played some of the Sammy Hagar stuff where we've had a, like a guest singer come in, uh -huh. and he will come in and do. We've done Pound Cake, we've done Dreams, we've done you know all that kind of stuff. No, it's cool, man. Yeah, it's, it's fun, fun to play for sure. Is it? I mean, were those songs that you played from Sammy? I mean, were they any more? Uh, Difficult to play? Um, I, yeah, I mean, everything Eddie plays is difficult. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even the simple stuff is difficult. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you know, it just uh, growing up, growing up, well, listening to that early Van Halen yeah, stuff, yeah. That's, that's, our, that's our passion. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Pound Cake? Pound Cake was, uh, Al has a tendency to, to hear me do something that I will totally not remember. I'll just play like a hint of something. Right. And he will stop. You know, he'll say, stop. You know, and thank God I always have a dat or a cassette running. And he goes, that part right there, right there, that little piece of that right there. And it turned into a song. <laughs> you know? Pound Cake, which you just uh, mentioned. Yeah. Uh, which is, again, our foreign lawful carnal knowledge. That's right. Um, great song. Great video. Comes yeah, out with, videos starts yeah. with a drill. Yeah, uh, a, a Makita drill it has to be a certain drill because it has a certain tone to it. <laughs> yeah, you can't just grab any drill and just stick it up against your guitar. <laughs> did it? Paul Gilbert did a drill thing. Different, right? Because Paul Gilbert put picks. On oh, it. so the picks go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And where Ed is actually just taking it and, and putting the motor against the pickups. And then slide it. And the cool thing that he does, which which is, is difficult, because I've actually played this song live, is that he uses the drill intermittently during the solo as well. So you're playing the solo. 
and then you gotta pick up the drill, then put the drill back down, and then finish the solo. Unbelievable. So you would do that live, yeah. Uh, right now? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Right now, I wrote a long time ago. You know, right, you would just mention right, right after jump, right around the same time. Hmm. And um, yeah, it took uh, shit, 13 years to make to a record. Hmm. my head. I mean, that was another pretty important record for the band. I mean, in terms of the video and. Well, yeah, I just it's, uh, it's and to me that's not even stepping out. You know. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not taking a chance. Right? That's, that's, that's still a, a, a rock tune. Mm-hmm. It's just piano-based. What the fuck? Right, right. It's not, it's not a, a head-banging, uh, you, know, you know. It's not like Pound Cake or Judgment Day or, you know what I'm saying? Right. But it's still Van Halen. Right, right. I think whatever I write, you know, whatever comes out of us will sound like Van Halen. What instrument is being played on? Right now? Yeah. Interesting song. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And I guess that was their first uh, uh, song that they sold for the Pepsi Cola. I think it was Crystal Pepsi was the name of the product. It was like a white Pepsi. No, no color. I remember that. Yeah. And it made it, I remember people were like, yeah, what are you doing? You, so, you mean the selling out kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. You know, I remember, I mean, Pete Townsend swore that no who song would ever be used for a commercial, for TV. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, you know, they're on the CSI shows. and Oh, yeah. You know, I, I mean. Once you get older, I guess, you know, you're, you're you know. Yeah, my God. I mean, you know. A young rock star, like, no way! And all so, of a sudden, hey, I, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not here forever. I might as well take yeah, advantage of it. Exactly. I mean, let's be honest about it. I mean, you know, they, I'm sure he made more money off, you know, being paid from CSI than he ever got, you know. So, yeah. I mean, hey, fair enough. Yeah. Your song, yeah, you wrote it. Right. But, um, you know, the few guys who swore they'd never allow their music to be used for TV, and I think ultimately they all did. It's really interesting and a peripheral subject here. I mean, you can hear stuff. There's that commercial with the Rival Sun song. Yeah. That Zep kind of thing. Yeah. Who the hell's that? It's like about? a Ram truck commercial with the Rival Sun. I think yeah. it is. Yeah. All right, now they play, you know? Yeah. Right, it's something that's so cool. It's like, who is there in their little office saying, oh, let's go use a Rival Sun song? You know, yeah. the band is amazing. I think they're fantastic. Yeah. But I mean, it's not like they're the Who or. Right. You right. know what I mean? It's, well, it's, sometimes they actually break a band. So, like, a band will call Neon Trees, which yeah, is a local I know band. Neon Trees. They, uh, they had a commercial. I forgot what it was, but uh, their song broke the band you know, from a commercial. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, Can't Stop Loving Can't You. Can't Stop Loving You. Balance album. Um, Bruce Fairburn asked me if I had any. We were, we were pretty much, I think it was one of the last songs we recorded for Balance. Mm-hmm. He asked me if I had any any uh, pop ditties laying around, you know. I'm going, God, I don't know, a ton of tapes, but uh, let me see if I can come up with something. You know, I, I don't know. I just, I, I still have not gone through all those tapes, you know, that I have. Really, all those boxes you used to have? I mean, old tape library in the back of the studio. I'm just too lazy. Well, you don't need to sit through hours of stuff just to maybe get, you know, uh, I, I don't know. It's just, I'll get around to it one of these years. Mm-hmm. But, uh, anyway, so I, uh, he flew to Vancouver for the weekend, and I, I wrote I wrote the music for that. Uh, played it for him Monday, and he goes, this is great. So now we've got a, another iteration. Well, same band, right? Same band. Yep. Yeah. Um, but very uh, poppy. I, I don't really know how to play it. <laughs> But you, but you would really describe it as sort of as a as a real poppy kind of I a thing. I think so, sure. For for Van Halen, yeah, slow poppy, you know, great song, no doubt about it. Yeah, very. Uh, the recording is just really warm. That's what I always take away from it. I hear that album and go, wow, it's just it's such a warm. It, is that? Is Ted still doing the records about that time, or is he gone and 
That's a great question. I don't. Um, I I would think he's gone, but I don't know. Yeah. We got into that whole management thing, and, and yeah. Sandy brought his manager, and I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey everybody, how you doing? Listen, thank you so much for checking out the uh, video. I hope you're digging it. Uh, more to come. And uh, yeah, uh, I can see by the views that um, a lot of people were, were, were checking in on it. And that is so cool. For those of you who don't have the book, if you dug the video and you know, you want to learn more about Edward and my 26 years hanging out with him, you know, please, uh, please check out the book. You can uh, buy the book uh, on my newly created website, which is very cool. Bunch of cool pictures up there for you. The address is ToneChaserBook.com. ToneChaserBook.com. Pretty simple. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, that means a lot. That helps me put these together. And, uh, you know, uh, creating cool content for all you guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's about it. So again, thanks for checking my stuff out. Uh, go check out my book. I know you'll dig it. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.